WWE NXT for June 28th, 2017. Now, this is my first NXT review. And the reason being is because, I mean, there's, you know, things with real life and being busy and working all the time and trying to have spare time in order to freaking do this. But, yeah, I've been trying to get to this for a while as far as doing NXT reviews, which I will try to get to. And this is by request by a couple of my subscribers. So I was like, okay, let's let's go on with the NXT because obviously it's the best brand that WWE has as far as wrestling and even in freaking storylines for the most part because it's like WWE is just like blah, 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 when it comes to treating their talent right and not burying their talent that has talent. But anyway, the show starts, well, the first match is the Velveteen Dream against Ho Ho Loon. Now, okay, look, this is a very short work match, and okay, the Purple Rainmaker actually freaking wins. Kind of like a Macho Man elbow drop, but not exactly like Macho Man. No one can do it like Macho Man. But the Velveteen Dream, he reminds me of Orlando Jordan a lot. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just that that's who he reminds me of. But yeah, short work, short match. Okay, maybe the Velveteen Dream will actually work his way up and be something. But you, you see, the thing about the freaking NXT is that when these guys or these men or women go to the main roster, some of them are treated right and some of them are not. And I'll speak of that a little bit later. So we have, okay, a challenge has been issued to the Altars of Pain. Heavy Machinery will challenge Altars of Pain June 12th at NXT TakeOver for the NXT Tag Team Championship belts. Okay, look. Love those belts, by the way. The NXT titles, love them. I mean, I said my opinions about those belts before. Love the NXT belts. Love the NXT Championship belt. Okay, I love them. But to see Heavy Machinery get a title shot against Altars of Pain, Damn, I wonder how this match is going to go. Fuck, I mean, these big men versus these other big men. It Okay, bring that shit on. <laughs> you know, the Authors of Pain need someone to knock them off. As far as, it, okay. Yeah, you had the Revival and DYI and, you know, the Revival's moved on to Raw. But, but, but anyway, looking forward to seeing that shit and seeing how that goes. So, you have Hideo Hito Itami versus... Oni Lorcan. Okay. Because a couple of weeks ago, Oni Lorcan got like a couple of GTSs. So, now with this match, oh, at the beginning, Oni Lorcan attacks Hideo Hitami. And next thing you know, he breaks Hideo's nose. So, nose is bleeding, nose is swelling, and they stop the match. They ring the bell. And I was like, damn it, so you do this shit at NXT 2 instead of just let them go. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not like NXT is shown on national TV. This is shown on the WWE Network. So I don't understand why they have to be so taboo about stuff like that on NXT. I, I don't understand that. Okay. So you get a Roderick Strong, Bobby Roode segment. Okay, look. Yes, you got Roderick Strong, yeah, the wife and the kid, the family thing, and Bobby Roode. It's like, no, look, no, you're, you're not. You're entering Bobby Roode's world, and basically, it's Roderick Strong saying that, yeah, this is this is his time. He's the best, you know. Has his life is, but Robbie Roode's like, no, I'm going to end that. <laughs> I just want a good match between those two, please. And then Hitami comes back out. Okay, yeah, he's fixed up. I guess they stopped the bleeding or whatever. Sw swole up nose. Nose broken, perhaps. But he comes back in the ring and calls out Oni Lorcan. And I'm like, fucking bravo. Yes, continue to fucking fight. Don't miss out. Continue to fucking fight. And that's what they did. So when Oni Lorcan comes back out, oh, H Hideo goes on the attack. But it ended up being a pretty seesaw type of matchup. No one really dominated. But it looked like that Orny Lorcan re-injured his fucking knee. And that's when Hideo took advantage 
picked him up and hit the GTS, <laughs> pinned him, and that was it. I mean, you can't really blame him. I mean, yeah. <laughs> It's not like they call for the bell for an injury. It's not like that leg was broken. Oh, that would have been f fucked up. But yeah, Hideo Itami wins the match. But then after that, he calls out Cassius Ono. Cassius Ono comes out to the ring, but before they can even do anything, out comes Nikki Cross and she's going crazy on the fucking apron. And then Killian Dane and Alexander Wolf come out and laid and just beats down Hideo and Cassius. So I'm like, oh god, are they actually gonna try to team those two up against Lisa? Oh god, no, no, no. Um, we have a lot of tag team action as it is in NXT. But maybe you know what? I changed my mind about that. Tag teams are what's desperately needed, not just in NXT. But going into WWE because the tag team situation on both Raw and SmackDown are just jacked up. But, okay. Huh, speaking of Nikki Cross, it was funny how they showed footage on earlier in the day when they were, um, when Asuka was being driven to the event and she was asking, on oh, how do you feel about, you know, the, the matchup as far as the last morning standing match? Damn, Nikki Cross gets on the fucking hood of the car and basically starts yelling. And they have to pull her away. It's like, damn, can't you just wait until the match tonight? No? Okay. Since Nikki Cross was already out there because she was on the apron on the previous segment. Okay. Asuka comes out. Last woman standing match. Pretty good match. Seesaw and back and forth. And congratulations to both of these women for having a good match. And kind of setting, the, you know, the standard and breaking the barrier. But, damn. Okay. This is one of my issues here. Not that it's a, not that it's, a, that it's a negative or a big issue, but an issue nevertheless. You have Oscar that's undefeated. Okay. This is what I don't want to happen because okay, Oscar did win this match barely. She got barely to her feet, but she got to her feet, and Nikki was still down by the town of ten as they both went crashing through the table. But yeah, I don't want Oscar losing to anyone that doesn't deserve it let's say she goes to the fucking main roster and loses to someone like lana loses to someone like naomi loses to someone like carmella think about that for a moment this is wwe we're talking about here and they would do that stupid shit but oscar still undefeated and i'm just like damn who are they eventually gonna have this have her lose this championship to if they are at all. Is she just going to go to the main roster and just forfeit the championship? I mean, I, I'm like, but like I said before, I don't want her to lose in, in such a garbage manner that it just puts her career to shit. But this is WWE we're talking about here. By the time she gets to Vince McMahon, uh, I, I don't know. But basically, that was NXT. And... My apologies for not getting to NXT sooner. Um, I will I will try to do that because again, this has the best wrestling on the whole WWE roster. It does. So again, what did you think about the show? Do you agree or disagree with my opinions and my assessments here? I mean, ugh, God, just don't fucking do garbage to Oscar, please this oh god what if they treat her like adam rose seriously but anyway uh, uh if you agree or disagree leave a comment below hit that like button hit subscribe i'm always open to a debate about wrestling drop kicks body slam strong motherfuckers over top rope both feet hit the floor yes i'm a wrestling fan this is the theme and i'll see you later credits